Good morning. It's really lovely to be with you. I'm here um, in my study at the Vicarage in Priest, where I'm a vicar, um, but I'm also your school chaplain, and it's been uh, really lovely to be able to share this term with you, and it's great to be able to share a thought for this week. We're in this season of Advent in church, a time of waiting, a time of preparation as we get ready for Christmas, and we have um, an Advent wreath in church. This is mine from home uh, and each week we light a different candle on the Advent wreath and then on Christmas Day we light the white candle in the centre as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. So today as we're in the first week of Advent I'm going to light the candle which we lit on Sunday on the 29th of November. So the first candle of Advent. This is a really important season in the life of the church, a time of waiting and expecting the birth of Jesus. Christians believe that Jesus was born in Bethlehem about 2,000 years ago, and that he was and is God's son. We believe that Jesus shared our birth, shared the experience of our life, and shared our death. We believe that after he died, Three days later he rose again from the dead so he was completely properly dead and then three days later completely and properly alive and we believe that because of his life death and resurrection those who believe in him can share that experience of eternal life forever with him when we die so two really important christian festivals each year one is christmas and one is easter so at this time of year, we remember the birth of Jesus, God with us, God entering our human life in a completely different way. Bethlehem, as you probably know, is a real place in uh, the occupied territories of Palestine on the West Bank. I've had um, the opportunity on many occasions to go and visit. And I've got some good friends who live there and we may be complaining in this country a little bit that we can't celebrate Christmas as we would like to. But life for the people of Bethlehem is also very challenging and very difficult. They've been in lockdown since about March and because of the uh, nature of being in occupied territories, they find their movements are very restricted, particularly those who are Palestinian. They rely virtually entirely on tourism for their industry and so with the pandemic and with lockdown and with the end of that tourism for this year things are very very difficult for them and the streets are very quiet and the tourist places are deserted. So I asked a friend of mine, a man called Nicola, who lives in Bethlehem, has lived in Bethlehem all his life uh, with his family. He's a lawyer, he's also an iconographer, so he paints icons uh, to tell us and show us a little bit of Bethlehem. So he's prepared a really short film so that you can see the streets of Bethlehem and you can see the Church of the Nativity, so the place where Christians believe and have uh, visited for 2,000 years now, believe is the place where Jesus was born. Hello, my name is Nicola Juha from Bethlehem. I'm a Christian, Palestinian lawyer and iconographer. Um, I am living here since I was born. As Palestinian Christians, we are one percentage of the Palestinian population. We have faced many difficulties and circumstances. That's why many of us have immigrated to other countries. But now we are living under the occupation and with this year we had the pandemic disease. So I believe in the story of the Bible, when Jesus was born, 
there was also many circumstances that he faced and he had to escape to Egypt then he came back to his country because Herodotus killed about 2,000 children so then I would like to pray for my country and for all the world for this disease to disappear because you can see Bethlehem how it's affected very badly with the, the shutdown stores because the economic of Bethlehem the tourism has closed so you can see this and please pray for Bethlehem pray for the Christians in Palestine as I'd like to pray for you and light a candle for each of you when the Nativity Church is open thank you continue with our Christmas preparations at home and at work at school and in all the different places that we are connected to and for some people these will be different festivities different things that you do particular traditions that you have perhaps you dread Christmas perhaps it's not a happy or an easy time in your family I celebrate Christmas quite quietly at home for me it's very much a spiritual journey journey to Christmas Day, a journey when we greet Christ and let him be born in our lives again as we are about to start a new year, remembering that he journeys with us and shares all the ups and downs that will come along. I'll be remembering my friends in Bethlehem, I'll be remembering those who are really restricted because of this pandemic. special prayer I said in church for the first Sunday of Advent that I short thought I would share with you. Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that we may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope that whatever you're doing, you have a peaceful Christmas and I hope you have a really good rest of your day today.